Okay, when we're in iReady and we want to assign a lesson, we're going to go to Assess and Teach. We're then going to click on Instruction. And today we're going to show how to do the reading online instruction assignment. So I'm going to click on Reading. Now I can scroll down and I can see um, all these that are phonological awareness. You can see that it's grade K. I want to um, assign something for my students. So I could go into domain if I want to do something for vocabulary or comprehension or close reading. I could also go over here to grade four and then look in the domain for what I want. Um, let's say I want a vocabulary lesson. And we're going to go on over and I want students to work on context clues because that is something that I want to make sure that they have when we move towards the next stage in reading. So I can click on it and I can see what it entails. And it says use context clues. You can see the um, standards here. And you can decide if that is what you're looking for or not. If it's not, you can just exit out of it and pick something different. I'm going to go down to the context clues too. I think that um, by this point in the year, we're ready for the next one. So I'm going to click on this box. And once you go back up, now you'll see that the green button for Assign Online Lessons is in fact green. And you can click on it. Once you click on it, <coughs> um, you can either choose to assign it to individual students. And if you wish to do that, you will click the Students button and then click this green arrow and it will take you to your individual students. That's great if you want to do uh, small groups of students working on specific skills. If you have a student that needs a personalized lesson in, in a specific skill, um, this really can tailor what you're doing to your student's individual needs or the needs of the class as a whole, depending on what, how you're assigning it. I'm going to assign class to the classes um, because I don't want to um, click students, then you'll see the students in my class. Um, and we want to protect that. So we're going to choose classes and I'm going to choose this green arrow. And I'm going to choose my language arts. I know it's mine because it says loss in there. And it's a class. It's my class, not a group. Um, you could create groups. Um, and we'll, we can go into that in another video. So when I get in here, I'm going to see what the the name of the lesson is and then I can go over here and I want to make it available. I'm going to make it available on the 30th and then I will have it do uh, I think I'll have it do on the th let's go with Thursday and then we can do our check-in on Friday and see how they're doing and then you just click the assign online lessons and I'm going to go ahead and click that if you want to see your schedule of what you have scheduled for students, you can click on Manage Schedule. Now you can see that I have one in the future and I have one that I had already assigned to students and it is available to them. There was no due date on it, so they didn't have to have that done by a certain date. If I open this up, I can see that I've assigned it to one group and I can see that um, other teachers are in this group. I could change the date if I wanted. I could assign a different due date. So that's how you manage the schedule. You can also go over and view your class progress on this. Um, again, I'm not going to scroll down so that you can see my students, um, but you if you scroll down, you'll see what students have um, progressed on that and if anyone, if they've used that lesson. So if you want to go back into there, like I just clicked and I couldn't get to the back button. So I'm going to go over here to online instruction and click reading again. Now I can come over here and I can click manage schedule and there's my assignment. Again, I can open it. I could cancel all students. I can pretty much edit anything from this screen. And that's how you assign a lesson in reading.